a graph-based framework for reducing false positive rates in authentication alerts in security systems, published at the industry track of the web conference 2024. The high false positive rate of authentication alerts remains to be a prominent challenge in cybersecurity systems nowadays. In this paper, we consider the following abstraction of the problem. The input is a stream of authentication alerts in a network system. An authentication alert, uh, authentication event is a network connection that happens at a specific time between a user such as administrators, clients, and a machine such as workstations, printers, and servers. Given observed authentication events in history, our task is to decide whether each newly observed authentication event in the future is anonymous with the goal of reporting as few false alerts as possible. This task is typically formulated as the link prediction task on the temporal graph constructed from the authentication events. In this paper, we identify two problems that cause the high false positive rate, which are unaddressed in existing learning-based anomaly detection methods. First, in industrial applications, ground truth labels for malicious authentication events are extremely scarce. Therefore, learning-based methods must find a good way to optimize their procedures for auto-generating high-quality training instances, an aspect that existing works have overlooked. Second, every existing model is based on a single form of data representation, either stream or graph snapshot which may not be expressive enough to identify heterogeneity in behaviors of network entities. This results in misclassifying a legitimate but differently behaved authentication event into an anonymous one. To address these problems, we propose a new framework based on self-supervised link prediction on dynamic authentication networks with two highlighted features. First, our framework is based on the unification of two most popular views of dynamic interconnected systems, graph snapshots and linked stream, ensuring the best coverage of behavior heterogeneity. Second, to generate high quality training samples, we propose a carefully designed negative sampling procedure called filtered rewiring to ensure that the negative samples used for training are both truly negative and instructive. We further conduct ex extensive experiment on authentication data from real-world industry, which contains four months of authentication data of 125 randomly selected real organizations that subscribe to Microsoft's defense services. The numeric results will substantiate our proposed new design. For more details, please check out our paper. Thank you.